Iraqi militants conducted serial attacks across Iraq April 19th, killing 37 people and injuring up to 100 more. Militants deployed IEDs, mortars, and suicide bombers in eight cities across Iraq, with the worst damage in Baghdad, Kirkuk, and Samarra. While the April 19th attacks certainly do indicate that Iraqi militants are able to coordinate nationally to conduct attacks, they follow a trend of a decline in magnitude that we've seen over the past two years. Serial bombings are a fairly regular occurrence in Iraq. The pattern of bombing seems to suggest that militants spend one to two months preparing attacks before deploying operatives and devices across the country. The April 19th attack came only a month after the last serial bombings on March 20th that killed 46 people ahead of an Arab summit in Baghdad. Recent attacks have had strong political undertones as militants try to discredit the government by attacking during particularly vulnerable moments, like immediately after the U.S. withdrawal or before the Arab summit. But just because the attacks are continuing does not mean that the militants behind them, likely the Islamic State of Iraq, are more successful. Overall, attacks in Iraq are decreasing in lethality and sophistication. Compared to three years ago when militants were deploying large truck bombs against key government buildings like the foreign ministry, recent attacks look fairly tame. The devices are smaller and less effective, while the targets have become softer. For example, the April 19th attacks involved about 15 devices killing 37 people, mostly civilians. But the two truck bombs that targeted federal government ministries in August 2009 killed 95 people, mostly government workers. It's not clear exactly why we're seeing a decline in magnitude. Increased government security could be making it harder to deliver large devices to hardened targets, or militants may be finding it more difficult to obtain ordnance to construct their devices. Attacks like these will surely continue in the future, but if they continue to decline in magnitude, the significance of the attacks will decline as well. The fact that Iraqi security forces appear to be at least holding the line against militants nearly four months after U.S. troops completed their withdrawal from Iraq is significant. Many feared that the country would degenerate into anarchy after U.S. withdrawal, but this has not happened. It's still too early to say for certain if Iraq will be able to keep its security situation steady without U.S. troops there, but if the decline in magnitude of attacks continues, then they will at least be able to claim a marginal victory.